Hello, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. Today we'll be taking a look at how to enable Keep Inventory on your Minecraft server. Keep Inventory is a very useful game rule that allows your players to keep their inventories on death. What this essentially means is, whenever a player dies, no matter what the cause is, they'll retain whatever is currently in their inventory. To enable this, it's very simple. All you'll need to do is type in Game Rule, Keep Inventory, True. Once this game rule has been set to true, whenever we go ahead and do kill RTC flyer, which is my username, and click respawn, you'll see that I actually retain the exact items in the exact slots that were in my inventory as before. One thing worth noting, however, is if your server splits up the dimensions into multiple folders, such as world, world underscore nether, and world underscore the underscore end, then you'll actually need to enable this per dimension. So as you can see, we've already enabled it in the overworld. We'll go ahead and go into the nether using this portal that I've made previously. And from there, we'll actually need to run the same exact command in order to keep inventory in the nether as well. So in order to enable this command, we'll simply type in the same command once more. And we can actually check to see whether this is enabled or not by simply just running game rule keep inventory without true or false uh, typed in. Um, and as you can see in the nether dimension, it's set to false, so we can go ahead and enable that to true. Now, unfortunately, there's not an easy way to get to the end dimension in vanilla Minecraft. However, if you install a plugin such as Essentials, you can simply run the world command, and you should be able to then teleport to the end dimension from there, or you can simply wait until you and your players actually travel to the end dimension, and then Right before you kill the ender dragon, you can type in game rule keep inventory true to ensure that all of your items remain safe. That's going to wrap it up for this video. If you have any questions regarding anything we've covered in this tutorial, feel free to join the Pebblos Discord and we'd be more than happy to help you there.